Hello, I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and this review is of Leon Lee's SL INF120 RGB reverse blade fan. And uh, this is because of some questions that were posed to me by one of my viewers who just became a subscriber. Thank you very much, Locked Fawn. I hope I said your name right. I apologize if not. I'm not really. You know, so good at four names. Unless you come from Indonesia, then I'm pretty good at saying the names correctly because I live there. Um, anyways, uh, so this fan is one of the many Unifans that they've come out with overpriced. This this was thirty dollars new, um, and thirty dollars is an awful lot of money for a a fan, especially given. Number one, they don't cost anywhere near that much to produce. I mean, it's, the cost of making a fan is ridiculously low. Let's just say that. I can't quote numbers because I'm not from the industry, but I know that the actual cost, especially if it's coming out of China or one of the other countries where the cost of living is very low, is going to be very small, and Leon Lee is taking advantage of that. I mean, not just Leon Lee. Most companies produce fans in China, so most companies are taking advantage of that to sell fans at a much higher price. Now, uh, that said, uh, there are companies that don't sell their fans at a ridiculously high price, like, say, for example, Thermalright, and Arctic produce good fans at a very reasonable price. Um, also, uh, there are some other companies that price gouge and don't produce good fans, like Sama, for example, does not produce good quality fans. Cool Moon um, and uh, uh, Tuser, I think, although I haven't actually tried Tuser yet, and Jungle Leopard, uh, some of them charge way too much money especially Sama they, even for their crappier fans of which most of them are um, you really don't expect much um, from them <sighs> at least with some of the other ones they sell it for a low price and you, you get it and you're like oh well, I'm glad I only spent five dollars on this fan because it's a piece of junk yeah anyways Leon Lee charges too much money now that said the fan, this is a version one, by the way. They, after some of the reviewers complained about the connector being of this type, so that actually, this is a 120 by 120, but when you add on this connector, it ends up becoming a, um, a 120 by 122 fan. So, you know, that's not, not ideal. Um, and for some cases, you can have problems because of this. So, like, how are you going to necessarily mount it if you've got a very tight case? That extra t few millimeters there is going to make a big difference. But it's not just even that, though. So if we go and we measure on this side, it is just about exactly... Oh, it's 122 on that side. Now, if we measure on this side, it is one, whoa, one, really? It's actually like, yeah, 120. So it's 120 plus 122, but when you add on the connector, and you do have to have at least one of these connectors, um, if you're not, if you're gonna be directly daisy chaining using the fingers, um, then, on the one fan that you're using that on, suddenly the one dimension here becomes 126. So that's a significant difference that some reviewers like uh, Linus Tech Tips did not appreciate. And then uh, Leon Lee quickly came out with a version 2 that has a cable that plugs in instead. It's a better solution, but there are still problems with this solution. I've seen several people on uh, the Lions Tech Tips forum 
who had problems where the pins would get bent or they would get stuck in the holes and not pop back out and therefore the uh, RGB would uh, the, the lighting would not work correctly but um, even with the version 2 there are going to be some challenges with that hopefully not as bad uh, I haven't seen anything it's been a while since I've actually seen any complaints about the pins getting stuck so it's but it's not just them that uses the pins there are other companies that I think have licensed from Leon Lee and are using the, the pin technology as well the only yeah so it's a drawback so this is however nice <laughs> in that you have a, a 61 centimeter long cable all told that splits here into PWM and standard ARGB so that's great and so if you want to have these in different parts of the computer, you're going to have to figure out a way to daisy chain them together. If, however, they're all going to be in a line next to each other, and I'm sorry, this is not a uh, three pack, but as you've probably seen, I mean, if you've been paying attention at all to computer parts, you've probably seen that these can be flush up against each other in a line, and you can even use certain... Uh, ARGB mo lighting modes where it'll look you can have the color just kind of wash across in a line and it can go all the way around the case on all the connected devices if you want and that's not just specific to Leon Lee although I um Leon Lee is very good at promoting that now why is it um another reason that I'm not really enthused about Leon Lee is um, I have had limited experience with them as far as customer service, and I, I wasn't impressed. Um, whereas NZXT, who I don't want, I don't want to buy their products because of this proprietary connector crap that they've been doing. Um, at least their customer service is is pretty good. I mean, I've had even less experience with them, but their ex the experience was better. Let's just put it that way. So it's it's like. If NZXT would stop with the nonsense with the proprietary connectors, I would be and lower their prices somewhat. I would be very much on board with uh, recommending NZXT. But until such time as they decide to stop playing the, these, uh, I want more market share, and I'm gonna you know force people to be on the board. I'm not gonna do that. And with Leon Lee charging too much, I'm not gonna be buying their products either. Yes, I know they have really good highly recommended cases like the uh, Landcool 3 and the Landcool 216 just like Fractal Design has some famous ones like the North and the Pop Airs and there are certain other companies that are very famous for cases but the fact of the matter is is unless you're going to be playing around in your case all the time like I do because I'm a reviewer um, and a tester you don't need a fancy case that has got a bit the, these features built into it that make it easier to build your computer. It's not necessary. It's nice, but if you're building a computer once every five years in that case, even if you're going to like use that case for the next build and the next build and the next build, it's not really worth it. But if you're like us, you know, the, the people that do this stuff, then. Yeah, yeah, there's there's definitely value in getting uh, that option for you. So it's up to you. And I'm, I'm really digressing here. I'm sorry. I just went on a bit of a rant. Uh, it's just I have my pet peeves about some things that companies do in this industry. Um, and there are lots of companies I could rant about. But, you know, I'll leave that to Steve at Gamers Nexus and some of the others who are very, very vocal. Um, and I'll just, you know, when I come across stuff um, like I've, you know, done recently, several reviews of companies' customer service, including uh, Asus, Leon Lee, NZXT, uh, Newegg, and a few others, then I will point that stuff out. But... In general, I'm not going to just say, well, so-and-so said, um, because that's not my experience, and how do I know if that person's being honest with me? 
unless they send me the product and I can check out the product for myself uh, and observe what they're experiencing, well, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not saying that any of you, my viewers, uh, would do anything like that, but there are people who will. So not to mention the people who would probably try to get malware on my computer by sending me something that would be able to hold malware and transfer it into my computer when I plugged it in. Yeah, anyways, let's get back to the topic here. It is a nice-looking fan. It is a bit heavy, 210 grams. Um, it has the... It, it cannot have three sides with mirrors or four sides with mirrors because of the connection system for the you know the flush mounting but it has the infinity mirrors on the two sides and then the one hub and then the other side of the hub has this nice metal uh, face which I'm assuming is part of the hub but it's hard to say for sure it could be added to the hub later on but you know it's it's it looks like they used a CNC machine to mill that um, and that's you know that's kind of expensive is it necessary no no it's absolutely not necessary are infinity mirror fans necessary no they're cool looking but they're absolutely not necessary they could build something like this that has no leds whatsoever and would perform just as well but that's beside the point here let's go ahead and uh, let me see if i can show you the visuals of this uh, fan if you'll bear with me a minute alright here we go so there's the um, let me see if I can there we go I think the uh, the lighting effects on this are really very nice. Let's go ahead and see how it sounds now, or listen to how it sounds. I think I can speak. All right, let's listen to it now. I forgot this is a reverse fan <laughs> so it's a little bit confusing you know because um, you normally the air goes this way and out through this side but and when you look at it it's just if you're not paying attention the the fan blades are a little bit deceptive but So at the lowest speed, it's already audible. Now I keep on hearing harmonics. There's a strong one there. Ooh, there's another strong one. <coughs> so you can hear that this is quite a noisy fan, to be honest. And you would think that they would figure out a way to lower the noise. But, uh, yeah. Let's um, compare it to the Noctua a 12 by 25 
I'd say Leon Lee is louder, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. And despite the $30 price tag for this fan, the bearings aren't very good. That stopped really fast. That's not a good sign. Just one more reason why I don't think you should buy Leon Lee fans is because they don't even bother to give you good quality. As far as, you know, the motor, as far as the noise level, and as far as the bearing quality. And this is a fluid dynamic bearing. So, you know, fluid dynamic bearings are theoretically amongst the better ones. Uh, as opposed to hydrodynamic bearings, which, you know, are really hit or miss. You can get hydrodynamic bearings that are as bad as a sleeve or rifle bearing in terms of how long they'll last. And uh, this one doesn't, they don't say how, um, how many hours of life you can expect out of this fan, and they only give a two-year warranty. So... Why are we paying $30? The mirrors aren't expensive. The LEDs aren't expensive. The milling of the hub thing here is expensive-ish. And maybe some of the aspects of the, the frame passing the power through, but not that expensive. And so, you know, yeah, I, I, I don't really get why they think they should be charging that much money for this product. It doesn't make sense to me. So, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the specs. Righto, so the Leon Lee Unifan SLINF120RGB reverse blade is also known as the UF-RSLIN120-1B. That is quite the mouthful although it's certainly not the worst i've seen um and it's an infinity reverse blade blah 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 um 30 fan i just i can't buy into that now maybe if this fan were like super like having sso2 type bearings and having five uh millimeters of water and 100 cfm and um what else oh and only 20 de uh, decibels of noise at maximum rpms then you know i 30 dollars would be reasonable speaking of which uh, one of the fans i'm going to be reviewing coming up soon here is the uh the newly re rediscovered by hardware busters i guess you could say newly discovered it's not really new uh but the super flower fan that uh hardware busters was going on about as being uh one of the best ones that they looked at um so that's coming up it's a i got it on sale that's all i'm gonna say all right so it's got certifications for CE and ROHS, made in China, 120 by 122 by 25. Have no idea on the lifespan, but given how quickly the bearings stopped it, I would say that it's not going to last even 100,000 hours. Versus Noctua is 150,000 minimum. Two-year warranty versus six from Noctua. Why are we paying so much for Leon Lee fans? I don't know. I'm not going to go on about that. 20 ARGB LEDs. Uh, and it'll work with Leon Lee's Connect 3. It also will work with Asus's Armory Crate. I haven't tested it with anything else yet, um, but I assume it works with other software as well. But for some reason, Leon Lee is not re telling what it works with, and I'm not going to help them by letting everyone know. So, you know, I'm not going to take the time to download and install all the software and then see what happens because, you know, I don't have those motherboards. I happen to have the Asus. I happen to have, you know, so anyways, yeah. 210 grams versus the 200 of the Noctua. They both have nine blades. 200 to 2100 RPMs versus 450 to 2000 for the Noctua. Don't know what the variance is on it because they don't bother to release that information either. Um, yeah, I, I'm not really impressed with it. Did I mention that? I, 
All right, it does support zero RPMs, which I think actually the Noctua does as well, if I'm not mistaken, but I, I, I can't remember for sure. I'm going to have to look that up and correct that if that if that is the case. The maximum airflow is only 63.6 versus 102.1 for Noctua. Huh. And the pressure is 2.02 .02 versus 2.34. 32 decibels, which is louder than the Noctua. Now, the Noctua doesn't actually do 22.6 decibels. It is probably closer to 30. The fan's cable length is 61. You can't daisy chain it unless you're doing direct connect, um, in which case you can. And it is a sleeved cable. The LED cable is the same length and same conditions to be able to daisy chain and yes, sleeved, PWM and standard ARGB connectors, fluid dynamic bearing, 12 volts, uh, starting voltage is equal to or less than six volts, 5.16 watts, which I'm assuming includes the LEDs because they did not provide on the box or the website separate specs for the LEDs other than five volts. And then uh, greater than or equal to uh, 50 milliamps for the uh, amperage or 0 0.05 if i'm hopefully not getting that wrong i'm not very good at metric um so yeah five volts or five volts for the leds um they don't indicate the uh direction of rotation and flow for their fans which is weird you know they've got these little indicators showing where the connectors are for you know uh, daisy chaining them together direct through di direct connection uh, but they don't show the direction of rotation and flow but it does rotate in a clockwise direction although it's facing the other direction so it's a little bit confusing it's still clockwise rotation but facing the other direction no oh sorry four screws and corner cushions and you can get a hub if you buy a three pack or so otherwise you know you don't get a, um, a hub. And that's all there is to this overpriced fan. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Please like, subscribe, and share.